Hello friends, I'm Monica. Welcome to Fun Gardening. Today's, uh, today I'll uh, talk about how we can grow uh, cuttings, uh, this croton plant from a cutting. These are cuttings I have uh, uh, brought and uh, when you, whenever you uh, bring cutting uh, from uh, some place, uh, wrap your cuttings in a uh, a wet uh, newspaper or any tissue paper or dip your cutting in water and I have uh, bought these uh, small uh, pots to these are approximately two inch uh, uh, inches pot uh, to grow cuttings these are very um, soft uh, plastic uh, pots you can also use uh, use and throw coffee mugs uh, for uh, cutting growing cutting uh, for, uh, to grow these cuttings, uh, make a very well drained uh, soil uh, mix. Uh, for that, uh, mix one part of uh, ground, your garden soil, one part of river sand and half part of uh, compost. Uh, if you have kitchen compost or uh, leaf compost, uh, that is the best for uh, option, best compost for uh, mm, cutting uh, growth but if you don't have you can use simple vermicompost or cow dung manure well rotten uh, cow dung manure mix all these things well uh, add one uh, teaspoon of uh, fungicide uh, powder to this uh, mixture or a handful of uh, neem cake uh, powder to prevent your uh, cutting from any uh, fungal infection. This is a very uh, well drained uh, soil mixture because uh, cutting don't, uh, do not like to set in uh, water. Make a few holes, uh, more than one holes at the bottom. And if you uh, want, you can make holes on side walls also. Fill the pots uh, um, with this um, I have made four, five, or at least uh, I think four, six holes uh, at the bottom, and fill this soil mixture in, in these uh, pots. Or if you are uh, taking uh, coffee mugs, uh, fill the pots with soil mixture. You can also use uh, soilless uh, medium. For that, uh, take one part of. Uh, uh, mm, Coco, coco peat, one part of uh, perlite and one part of uh, any um, compost to make soilless uh, medium. But I like uh, this natural medium. Uh, I don't like using coco peat because coco peat sometimes uh, uh, is too much uh, acidic or uh, too much uh, salty have have too much salts so sometimes uh, coco peat uh, um, harms our uh, cuttings so I usually don't use coco peat uh, water the pots well before growing cuttings uh, unless, until water comes out uh, through the um, drainage hole and that is very important we water completely water your uh, soil mixture completely it should be uh, moist uh, uh, till the base of uh, the pot water the pot then wait till water starts coming out from the drainage hole as you can see water is coming out from the drainage hole wait for the extra water to drain through the drainage hole now you can see all the water has uh, drained now take the cuttings cuttings uh, should always be um, thick like semi uh, wood or and thick like um, a pencil semi wood cutting is the best should be thick like pencil and it should be six uh, five to six inch uh, long and if your cutting is having uh, 
growing point uh, it is the best cutting and when we as i said when you bring cutting from long distance cover it with any newspaper wet newspaper or wet tissue paper or if you have any water bottle put the cutting in fill the water bottle half uh, water bottle with water and uh, place the cutting in um, that water um, bottle and close the lid bring that um, water bottle so if there is any um, flower uh, in fluorescence remove that remove the lower uh, leaves uh, from the cutting and uh, leave uh, three four cuttings uh, top uh, small uh, leaves sorry leaves and cut those leaves half so we require these uh, leaves only for uh, photosynthesis uh, to provide uh, food to the growing uh, to the rooting uh, stem uh, because uh, we are cutting these uh, leaves uh, to half because uh, our cutting uh, does not uh, have roots uh, to absorb nutrition uh, for these uh, leaves we leave these cuttings only to for photosynthesis so that they can provide extra energy to our cutting uh, to um, grow to develop roots remove bigger leaves and leave upper two three uh, small leaves tender leaves and cut those leaves uh, to half so to uh, to to lighten the burden of um, food because these uh, stand these leaves uh, are not going to get um, food from roots it should be 5 to 6 inch long and cut the cuttings from the lower portion make a, a 45 degree slant cut um, at the base for that use a very sharp knife or any sharp uh, cutter that should be the cutter or the knife should be uh, sterilized or disinfect uh, disinfected make a sharp cut so that tissues uh, may not uh, get damaged and make a sharp cut and from the other side scrap the outer tissue outer brown, brown tissue do not use the blunt um, knife or blunt um, cutter they may damage the tissues and scrap the upper layer to facilitate the emergence of uh, tender roots from the inner tissue scrap it lightly and before uh, using these uh, cutters and uh, instruments sterilize uh, them in um, with hydrogen peroxide take 1 liter of uh, water from this inner conducting tissue this is the inner conducting tissue and uh, this should not be damaged this dark portion so before uh, this is hydrogen peroxide dissolve 1 uh, teaspoon of approximately hydrogen peroxide in 1 uh, liter of uh, water and disinfect the these uh, cutter and um, blades uh, with this you can get this uh, hydrogen peroxide from any medical shop and wash and these uh, properly with this water and uh, cuttings also wash this cut before um, making cut uh, disinfect these things in this hydrogen peroxide water and um, after making cut dip these uh, cuttings uh, in this hydrogen peroxide uh, water peroxide water to make them this uh, disinfected if there is any uh, 
bacteria or any uh, pest on the cutting on the from uh, on mother plant or on, or on this uh, these cuttings deep uh, wash these cuttings with this water wash these cuttings with this water <laughs> to me to disinfect them properly yes wash them properly <laughs> now make a this is a rooting hormone it comes in different names by different names from any agricultural shop you can purchase this rooting hormone uh, it is very essential to grow um, semi wood uh, cuttings uh, dip your cutting uh, nicely in this uh, rooting hormone powder and completely cover the scrap portion in, uh, with this uh, powder then tap to remove the extra rooting hormone rooting hormone is uh, a rooting hormone as well as it is a good fungicide it protects uh, our cutting uh, from any fungal infection so rooting hormone if you uh, want to grow your cutting you want good growth in your cutting you should use a rooting hormone and if you don't have rooting hormone uh, you can uh, use uh, cinnamon powder in place of this rooting hormone that is uh, cinnamon powder is also a very good rooting um, hormone uh, powder as well as antifungal place the cutting gently in the hole make a hole with the help of finger uh, so that uh, if you push your cutting in the uh, soil the tender tissues may get uh, damaged or um, this powder will be removed so make a hole place the cutting gently and then press the surrounding soil um, properly to remove any air pockets if you are growing in monsoon season then keep these cuttings uh, in any shady place where they can receive indirect sunlight and if you are growing it in uh, february or in uh, august september after rains after uh, monsoon season uh, you can uh, place these cuttings in any polythene uh, bag because cuttings generally uh, like generally um, you can say or always Your cuttings always like moist uh, surroundings uh, when you uh, don't let your cuttings uh, dry um, when they are uh, in uh, in uh, in growing uh, stage in rooting stage and um, place uh, two uh, stakes in, in the soil and then um, tie a knot to cover uh, the surroundings now uh, this polythene will help to create a moist um, environment around the uh, it will uh, prevent the loss of water and makes um, will make a, will provide you can say provide a greenhouse effect uh, for uh, the cutting to grow uh, you can make few holes in the um, cuttings with the help of any scissors or anything Uh, to provide air to the growing cutting and uh, this will help the stakes will help your cutting uh, will uh, prevent uh, polythene to touch the uh, cuttings and if in monsoon season nowadays uh, in monsoon season there is no um, need to uh, use this um, polythene bag you can um, normally uh, keep the um, pots in any um, place shady place where they can receive indirect light and moisture is in the soil in monsoon uh, in the environment uh, in monsoon season so no need to use this polythene bag and after 20 to uh, 20 days to one month your cutting will start um, forming roots and small uh, leaves um there is one thing remove all the lower leaves uh, from the cutting and leave some uh, upper uh, tender leaves and cut those leaves to half uh, 
so that our cutting um, so that the cutting doesn't have to exert energy to provide uh, food to um, the leaves so this is uh, the process of uh, growing uh, cutting in of croton especially in monsoon season so friends if you like this video give it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel okay friends bye